So many years ago when my dad was a child, um, they had farm pigs and when the pigs gave birth, my grandma would take my dad and the piglets to visit poor rural villages. And she would gift each family um, two piglets and she'd say, you can keep one of these, but you need to raise the other one and I'll come back and buy it off you. Um, so fast forward to many years later, the genocidal regime of the Khmer Rouge happened and people were evacuated from their homes um, and made to live um, in famine in, in the jungle. And if they weren't killed, they were subjected to many atrocities, like not limited to starvation and forced labour. So after witnessing the death of you know, many family members um, and suffering for all those years, my dad made the decision to escape, um, just you know, in the hopes of finding a better life. Um, but in doing so, he was actually caught near the border um, and imprisoned. Um, and he was told that he would be executed. Luckily, the, the night before he was going to be executed, the prison guard um, actually recognised my dad um, and set him free. And so this prison guard had belonged to one of those families that my grandma had shared her piglets with many years ago. It, it suddenly... Um, made me realise that the reason why I'm alive is because of my grandmother's actions. And that to, to think that her kindness was powerful enough to inspire kindness in someone who was supposed to kill people really resonated with me. And so I wanted to live my life in such a way that would honour her memory. I knew that I wanted to be able to show kindness and compassion and be there for people. So eventually that's led me to study medicine and to be training as a GP. So I guess a rewarding, the most rewarding experience is um, when I was a trainee intern and I got to do my elective at the um, Māngari Refugee Resettlement Centre. Um, so there I, you know, I got to spend time with the GP um, but also I got to collect refugees um, directly from the airport gate. And so one particular moment that stood out to me was when we collected this family and we returned to the centre and they just rushed out of the van and they were reunited with um, their other family members. And so that was a really emotional moment for me because it made me think about my own family and what it was like for them to, to come to New Zealand and come through here. And to think that I was now there but on the other side of the process, because of everything that they've done and everything that they've been through, was, you know, like a full circle moment. I think, you know, the fact that New Zealand has allowed refugees into the country has meant, you know, everything to, to my parents and our family because it could have been so much different. Mm. So instead of, you know, living in poverty, you know, we're now living in New Zealand and we've had all these opportunities um, that we had, you know, had the chance to make the most of. So if my grandma was sitting here today, I would just say, you know, thank you for everything. Um, and I hope that she would be proud of, you know, what we've achieved. Um, and, and that, you know, hopefully everything that she has been through um, wasn't for nothing. Mm.